this is Rachel Kornack with GeoPivot Magazine. We're here at Esri headquarters at the uh, Esri Forestry Conference, and we just ran into Chris. Uh, t tell me your last name again. Garrett. And tell me, um, you said that you work with interns often in your company. Can you give our audience a few tips on how they could be more successful? Yeah, I think um, I know. You know, I, I run a uh, application development group in the consulting services for GIS application development and. I think a lot of interns are coming in today, you know, used to the typical lesson planning of, you know, hey, task one, task two, task three. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, we, we practice agile development, which is really more of an iterative um, philosophy. So, you know, hey, we have a problem. You need to come up with steps to solve it. So I think going into a, a job, especially if you're in the application development field, and being able to <clears throat> break down you know, requirements and user stories into your own tasks instead of following and just waiting for someone to assign that. I think that's a really valuable skill and something we look for. Oh, that's for interesting. And can you tell me, like, when you're looking for interns, have you seen any great examples of portfolios or resumes where someone has demonstrated that skill well? Um, you know, we usually pick up on um, if, if there's any mention of you know, agile development or if there's uh, kind of more interdisciplinary or... or um, Studies, uh -huh. where, you know, you know, it's not typical uh, GIS training where you're just following a cookbook of, hey, here's the data set, and I need to get it processed into this output format. So I think any creative skills. Um, we're also looking for anybody who has, you know, creative pro side projects. So oh. if you're building the, you know, an Android app on the side, or if you're doing some some cool side project, you know, highlight that because that's all that is more interesting than. You know, any school project or internship. You know, because it, uh, it shows that you're passionate about what you do. And you're you can start things yourself, and yeah. that way you don't have to get permission or get yeah. hired. You just you make it. Yeah, and you have an idea, and you you want to see it to fruition on your own time. So that's that's really valuable. Oh, great! Thanks for the advice. Cool. Okay, bye bye. Thanks.